So, boys, I stay tuned. There's a Gavaldiga podcast, Rabbi Steve Geller. Those are Gavaldiga Zach, and that'll be coming out this week. Torah Giants on Chumash. Shalom Ovrach, and welcome to the weekly piece on the Parsha from Torah Giants on Chumash, written by Rabbi Yitzchak Mayor Gunman, the Rabbi Meredith of Yenisov Rockway. Sit back and enjoy. Welcome to Torah Giants on Chumash. I'm Steve Geller. This week, Rabbi Gunman brings us a piece on our Parsha of a very famous Pasek that everyone will recognize mainly because we've all sung and danced to it. And I mean, all of us. <laughs> Rabbi Gubin brings us a beautiful Vilna Gon that I imagine has contributed to this Pusik's musical and spiritual popularity. By Yehi Bishurin Melech Behisatsev Roshay Am Yachat Shiftei Yisrael. He became king of Yeshurun when the heads of the nation gathered the tribes of Israel in unity. The Vilna Gon finds great symbolism in this Pusik, specifically as it represents the significant moments in the Torah that immortalize for all time our acceptance of Hashem as our king and his Torah as our inheritance and legacy. Let's go through the four parts of the Graz analysis. First, the Jewish people proclaimed Hashem as their king. It was towards the end of Az Yashir that they sang when the Egyptian army drowned at the Yamsuf. There we declared Hashem Yimloch Li'alam Va'ed, Hashem will reign forever and ever. Subsequently, we accepted the yoke of his kingdom three more times. In Shmos 19.8, Moshe called the elders of the people, placing before them all the words that Hashem commanded him. All the people responded together and said, Call Asher Diber Hashem Naase. All that Hashem has spoken, we will do. This represents the yoke of learning the Torah to know how to observe the mitzvahs. This is why the elders, who will be teachers of the Torah, are emphasized. Next, in Shmos 24 3, Moshe recounted all the words of Hashem, and all the people responded with one voice, saying, Call Hadvarm Asher Diber Hashem Naase. All the words that Hashem has spoken, we will do. This is the obligation to fully observe all that is commanded in the Torah. Next, Shmos 24-7, Moshe built 12 altars to represent the 12 tribes, in other words, the entire united people. He read to them the Book of the Covenant, and the people said, Call Asher Diber Hashem Nase Venishma. All that Hashem has spoken, we will do and we will listen. This is the covenant of accepting the oral Torah, which guarantees the eternity of the Jewish nation. With the people's agreement completed, Moshe went up the mountain to receive the oral Torah. The Vilna Gon sees all of his integral commitments made by Klai Yisrael hinted to in our Pasek. One, there was a king by Yehibishur and Melech. Two, the leaders, the elders of the people, gathered to become committed to the Torah. That's reflected in Behisasev Rosh Am. Number three, together with one voice, accepting the yoke of the mitzvahs, that's Yachad, unity. And four, the 12 tribes, represented by the 12 altars, promising to listen to the unwritten Torah for all time. Shiftei Yisrael. This is the kind of brilliance we're used to seeing from the Vilna Gon, and it's the kind of brilliant piece handpicked by Rabbi Goodman that we consistently see throughout Torah Giants on Chumash. Please remember this piece whenever you hear the song and sing it with a new enthusiasm. You want to know something else you should do with enthusiasm? Of course, you should like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and most importantly, hit that share button and paste the link to this video into text, WhatsApp, Facebook, or your social media of choice. They'll all appreciate you for it. It's effortless mitzvah of Talmud Torah, and it helps realize the potential of Rabbi Goodman's life's work, Torah Giants on Chumash. Yeah, 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 yeah